Hi, welcome along everyone. Looking today at the tricky problem of getting compressed olives off of pipes where you really need to take the nut off uh, so you can put a fresh fitting completely on rather than use the old nut. By that I mean one of these. Now this has been tightened right up to the ninth degree. I'm going to undo it and you'll see how compressed that olive is and how the heck we try to get that off. So that's going to be today's video. Here's a nasty bit of pipe and fitting. This is the one we want to get off, so we'll undo it. I've broken the seal already, it's a bit tight, so we'll undo it and take the fitting off. Yes. There you can see, there's a bit of bus wire on there as well, been on there for a while. And the olive's well compressed onto that pipe, so it's a bit difficult to get it off. So what's the options? Basically there's three. First one, if you've got a bit of room on the pipe, You've got a bit of length and it's fixed and you could get a spanner and take it down to just above the width of the pipe and then start knocking like so and hopefully if you're lucky and it's not too tight it will come off now in this instance you can see uh, let's get it right there out uh, it hasn't budged much has it <laughs> it's gone a tiny bit probably if i kept on it it might come off but i want to show you is the other ways to get it off if that won't do the trick. What else can we do? Okay, second option. Yes, one of these. Yeah, I know. <laughs> the second option is, is to kind of put a saw cut through there. Um, now, this isn't for the faint-hearted, because uh, you know what can happen, can't you? Apart from putting the saw through your little finger, that hurts. <laughs> I've done it before now. But there may not be enough room to actually get a saw in. It might be a, a bit of pipe that comes out the floor and goes into the bottom of a red towel because you might be renewing radiator valves and found that the nuts don't fit the new radiators. So, you know, you've got to change the olive and nut and that's stuck on a short bit of pipe. So this is OK. I've done it many years before the tool I'm going to show you came out. And the problem is if you put a saw cut and it goes too deep, into that olive and cuts the pipe, nicks it at all, I'm afraid you're back to square one. In fact, you're worse off because now you've got to cut the pipe back because you can't fit an olive over that if you've got to cut through that pipe. Um, there's a saw cut because you've gone a little bit over and it's nicked it. Just put a saw cut through there. It happens, you know, it, it, it's just one of those things. So this is okay if you want to spend a long time getting it dead right about cutting through a copper pipe when you do it. So the third and best option, let's look at that. Yes, our third and best option. One of these, it's an olive puller. Not too much money, I know it's another special tool that you're buying and you may not use it that often, but it's another invaluable piece of kit. They're getting these off of here. Very simple, look at this, it slots inside there like so. See that? Just take it inside, make sure it's screwed right out on the thread, and then just do your nut up on it like so. Okay, once it's done up, get your grips or spanner, put it on the nut. Okay, once it's on there, and then you just turn this thing in. Turn the wheel, just keep turning. Might be a bit hard, but don't worry, get going, it'll ease off as you get further in. Keep going. It's like magic, honestly. It's an incredible piece of kit. You can see the pipe now coming clean where it's coming out of the fitting. The olive's being pulled off and it is literally off. Look at that. And the olive is in there. I undo that now. I'll have to hold it against to undo it actually. But I'll hold that. I'll pull the olive out. So I've gone a bit mad just to show you exactly what happened so I'll undo that and just take the nut off and the olive will be crushed up on there right there she is and what a simple piece of kit that is and it works and it does a fantastic job so if you want to get an olive off a piece of copper chew easily then this is the little tool. I was asked about getting olives off pipes by someone uh, a week or so ago. I did promise I'd show a video on this little tool here and how good it is at doing that very exact thing. 
Okay, that's about it though. All my plumbing stuff, you know where to go. Usual place. Derrick33. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye.